stay the night here on the deck of that shed over there. Wind's got to be 30 plus miles an hour. Hoping this little sand spit doesn't get covered with water. Looks like it does not. Got two anchors. We'll see. Have a little bit of time before the sun goes down. See if I can get myself squared away before it's dark. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, my anchoring systems for squirt. I've got three. Main anchoring system, which includes a road, a long road, and a, and a, and a chain, and it attaches to a bridle that uh, is off the ocus, or the ends of the ocus, so that uh, keeps it dead, dead still into the wind. This is where I have my primary anchor for evening anchoring. It takes two hands to get it out, but it comes out easy enough. It's in a chalk at the bottom, stands upright, comes up through a cutout. It's got a chain, comes out right through this gap here, very simply, past the harness and the line bag. The road is kept in a bag. The whole thing is bungeed on, at least the uh, the anchor chain is bungee tight uh, in case of any uh, snag and it just uh, sits right there next to the spinnaker bag. So that's my anchor. But this bag is uh, custom made for the boat. Fits nicely. It actually does uh, hook up here when I stuff the road down in deep enough. Good enough. That's it. This one I'll show you is my bridle, essential. Uh, trimaran tends to tack back and forth if anchored directly from the bow. So it requires a bridle stretched to its extremities. And it has a ratio. The bridle length attaches to either side and should be two to three times the width of the boat. Now, in my case, it's a small boat and I don't do heavy-duty anchoring, so I got it down at the two. I'll show you where I attach it. I attach it here on the Akas. Let me do that and I'll be right back. So I attach this bridle to the ends of my Akas right where they attach to the armors on the outer bolt. I have these rings that uh, I attach to the Aka mounts and uh, on the ends and that attaches the Akas to the Amas. Uh, this is obviously a fake here, but it's demonstrating the system on the top anyway. The ring is attached and then the the bridle runs out in front two times the width of that spread between the two between the two uh, Akas. And that's how it's done. And she has on the end a ring system. A little overkill. It was from a heavier boat that I owned. But uh, this, this works just fine. For anchoring, I'll show you a picture. I did need to adapt and put a quick throw anchor on the back, which I'll show you now to give you an idea. Then I've got a, a quick release stern anchor and road that doubles as a stern anchor but can also be used and often used as a bow anchor because it's so quick to get off and deploy. Easy I've access stern mounted anchor and made these chocks that it fits into. There's three of them. The metal one at the front takes the brunt of it. hooked on by a bungee and additional bungee here and then the whole thing is secured well road comes off no no um, chain on this one but anyway anchor comes out real easy slips out and little four four pounder 
So that's how I do it, to get to it very quickly from the cockpit. Got a uh, even quicker, um, quick jump off the boat and screw the thing in the sand type uh, little, little short road to hold the boat while I drop the sail or something. This quick screw in one, which is actually a dog, a dog walk screw. That works really well. I uh, jump overboard, tie the line on, of course, screw it in the beach, and carries a little road with it. Simple, quick, works brilliantly. I find it's very useful. Thought I'd share that. bird refuge. Do not land or enter. Ah! Oh, be darned. Well, lucky birds. Let me uh, figure out where I am coming out of here. I also, of course, carry a little bow line. She's got a quick release and simply clips onto my ring at the front. <laughs> and, oh, I don't know, maybe 12 foot long or so. Not very long. But uh, she can be carried, tied back to this cleat here um, when sailing. And that's it. That's a little bow line on the ring. And allows me to, uh, to manage the boat when I launch or come ashore or uh, get to a dock or something. you enjoy. They work well. I've tested them now on two Texas 200s and uh, no, no modifications needed. <laughs>